You know, these cows have been chilling here for like 50 Minecraft days. Same thing with the horse. So we should definitely go ahead and make them some kind of home today. Um, sadly, I mean, for the cows, it'll be their home, but it'll also be where they get converted into steak. Just don't think about it, okay? It's it's pretty sad, but just don't think about it. Um, so yeah, definitely today we should go ahead and make them a new home. That seems like a good idea. Also, we need to do a couple other things. We need to enchant. I'm really tired of cutting down trees, like in general, but specifically mangrove trees without an enchanted axe. It's so annoying. Um, I would also like just some more diamonds in general. We don't really have any. And uh, fortune is going to be good for that. So hopefully we can get that in a little while. But in order to enchant properly, we should probably go to the nether first and get some experience. I could probably do it a safer way by trading with some villagers, like trading with some Fletchers or something like that. Um, but I just said before, I don't want to cut down trees. And you got to cut down trees to get the sticks to trade with the Fletchers. And I just don't really want to do all that. So I think we're going to go to the nether. At least scout it out. If it's a terrible nether spawn, maybe we just, we just chalk it and then come back later. So I think the goals for this episode will be get some good enchantments. I, I really want fortune three. If I don't get fortune three from the enchanting table, I might just force it out of a villager. I also kind of want mending today. That'd be nice because our diamond tools are running low and uh, we don't have any diamonds to repair them. So hopefully we can get some mending uh, in a little while. Then I also would like to build a barn of some kind with like a little stable area for the horse. And I'm thinking we, we plant a couple more fields. Not a couple, probably just one. We'll probably plant one more field. I actually have to go through and harvest all this. I haven't done it once yet. I'm a little lazy. And just another tiny goal. I want to fill in this hole. Not completely. Okay, that's psychotic. I, I want to just put some, some dirt on the top few layers just so I don't fall in. But let's show off what we did last time. I built a starter house and I think it turned out quite well. I also got this guy. What are you doing? Not really selling anything interesting, but he did give me an excellent deal on some leads and some leather. So that's nice of him. Um, but yeah, if you go all the way around, the house is looking looking rather schnazzy, if you ask me. I gotta complete this path all the way around. I will do that eventually. And if we head on inside, I can show off the interior. So this was not done last time. I literally just did this a little bit ago, and I think it actually looks kind of nice. So you walk in. You have this main room where all our storage is going to be. We have some furnaces, some smokers, actually just one smoker, one blast furnace, a couple more barrels just all over the place. We got a table with some plates looking nice. I have a little reading area down here that I will never use because I don't read. Uh, some more barrels, a couple potted plants. That always looks good. And this is not organized even a little bit. So that's something we can work on eventually. You pop upstairs. We have a little fireplace going on. A nice L-shaped couch, some like shelves back here with absolutely nothing on them. A couple more plants, a couple more barrels, a few more empty shelves. And you go all the way up to the top. We have our bedroom with some empty armor stands and our enchanting setup. I think it looks really nice on the inside here. Also, I didn't really show this off last time, but we have a balcony. We can look off into the area. I want to expand down this way. I think that's going to happen today. This is where I think the barn's going to go. At least in my head right now. That's where I want it to go. But maybe I'll second guess myself later. But we can probably get a nice overview of the area once we build up some more stuff. But let's go ahead and get prepared to head into the nether. I have some gold boots, I think, somewhere with, like, fire protection on them. Yeah, fire protection too. Better than nothing. I'll throw those on to go to the nether with. I'm going to grab a flint and steel. Do I have a bow? I don't think I do. I guess we'll just punch the ghast shots back at the ghast i also don't have any string to make a bow so we're just gonna we're just gonna go into the nether without one and honestly i would bring a second pickaxe but i don't have any iron to make a second pickaxe we really need to go mining again but i really want to wait till fortune to do that um i don't know where to throw the portal let's just probably chuck it like back in this mountain that's probably where i'll put it eventually so let's just get it in the right area for now Ooh. Oh my god, I, ah, I suck. Guys, I am like so good at this game. It's insane. Look at this portal. This is the best portal you've ever seen. It's staying just like that. No, god, I need to go get my diamond pickaxe. <laughs> I don't have it on me. Well, we potentially have an issue here. Uh, I have no idea where I put my diamond pickaxe. Ooh. I'm guessing when I like moved all my chests, it despawned. I don't know how that would have been possible, though. I swear I just used it. Oh my god, I also don't have enough obsidian to make a new portal. Ooh. So I'm just gonna have to break the two pieces that I misplaced with this iron pickaxe. And then we can head into the nether from there. Uh, this is so annoying. I don't know where that pickaxe went. I mean, it was gonna break soon, but still. 
I could have enchanted it and then got mending and then it would have been fine. Maybe we can find another fortress and then find diamonds that way. If anything, I think I think that pig just messed up my flow. I have to redo this whole thing now. Great. <gasps> um, but maybe we can find another fortress and find some diamonds that way. If we can't, then I'll just do some strip mining. I was planning on doing that anyway. Oh yeah, I'm really happy I just had to waste two pieces of obsidian like that, but let's hop in. There is another fortress right down here, but this is a very dangerous nether spawn. Yeah, this nether spawn like really sucks. So I think I'm just gonna go back home. We're not gonna worry about the nether right now. <laughs> Instead, what we're gonna do is just do a little bit of strip mining. I, I need to find some more diamonds now anyway. <laughs> so let's just do that. We can also get some experience this way. I really hope I run into some iron on the way down because this pickaxe is surely going to break before we get down to like Y negative 58 or whatever I have to get down to. Dude, this is the saddest thing in the world. My iron pickaxe is about to break. I haven't found any iron yet, and I'm going to need that to mine the diamonds. So we have to make a stone pickaxe to start digging down. Oh my god, this is going to actually take so long. Ah uh, yeah, this is taking way too long with stone. I give up with this. Instead, what we're going to do is just head over to the mountains and mine up some iron there. I'm just going to mine as much as I can with this iron pickaxe, and then we can smelt it down, and we can mine a little faster than underground. Now, at least our house looks really cool from over here. It's gonna be a good view, I think, when we build up all the stuff I have in mind. All right, we got ourselves a whopping 13 iron. We're living big right now. Let's go smelt this up and we can make four pickaxes. All right, well, we got some skulk, but I, I feel like I'm past it now. I think we're okay. I don't think there's any streakers nearby, at least, so that's good. And we have finally hit the deep slate level. Okay, thank you. Oh God, no, there's more cave. I don't want a cave. There we go, finally. I feel like I've been going for a pretty long while. Just be three. Oh, come on, it's only two. Don't do this to me. Okay, of course it's only two. Dude, my iron pickaxe was about to break, so I made another stone pickaxe all the way down here. And oh my god, this takes so long to mine the deep slate, but this is so painful. This has to be the most unlucky I've ever been strip mining. I've been strip mining for like 40 minutes. Now granted, I've been using like a stone pickaxe and the occasional iron pickaxe when I actually found some iron down here. Um, but I literally only found two diamonds this whole time. This has been awful. I have a plan for right now. Um, I'm just gonna go explore and hopefully come across some shipwrecks. Maybe we can find some diamonds that way. Since I only need one, I feel like this isn't a bad option. So let's go ahead and do that. This is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, the first buried treasure we found has three diamonds in it. Oh, that is brilliant. We also have another buried treasure map that we're close to, so let's go check that one out real fast before we head back home. We had two more diamonds out of this one as well. Some more food, some more potions. Yeah, we're looking good right now. Okay, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Now we can head back home and we could probably do some trading in the nearby village because that's probably the best way to get experience right now. I mean, I could go to the nether and make it a little bit more safe, but that's kind of scary at the moment. I don't really want to do that. We have like an entire inventory filled with sticks right now and we have two fletching tables. So let's head over to the village, convert two of them into fletchers and then start making bank because fletchers absolutely love sticks. I don't know why, but they just can't get enough of them. I got the level 26 trading with this fletcher. Also got 32 emeralds out of it, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and chop down this jungle tree and we can convert all of that wood into more sticks. And let's just keep the process going until we get to level 30. All right, this next trade we have here, we should be able to get to level 30. There we go, beautiful. I ended up making another Fletcher as well. And both of them are out of the stick trade right now and I got a little impatient. So I just decided to get some bows, we got some arrows. And honestly, I'm gonna use all of these arrows probably eventually, we have three stacks now. That also means I don't really have to go for an infinity bow right away then. If we can just keep buying arrows and stuff, they're very cheap. They're only like an emerald or two. We are guaranteed unbreaking three. Please be more than that. Oh, it's just unbreaking three. Yeah, that is definitely getting rerolled. Once again, another level 30 enchant, and it's just efficiency four. What is happening? The next one's going to be efficiency three, which I'm really not looking forward to. Efficiency three, fortune two. Man, that sucks as well. I don't want that. We got 33 levels this time and the first three are actually going to go to a book because a feather falling four book is incredible to get. And then we have efficiency four next. Efficiency four, I'm breaking three. Okay, I will take that because now I can just get a fortune villager. Then we just need a mending villager 
And we have a great pickaxe. That took a very long time, but we finally got at least a pretty good pickaxe. I do want to make this thing like perfect though. So let's go get a mending and a fortune villager. We got the mending trade. It is for 24, which is a little expensive, but I will take that. We also got the fortune three trade. Sadly, I only have 10 emeralds. So let's just go get some more real fast. And the fortune three book has also been acquired. All right, so we have the capability right now to construct a very good pickaxe. Um, I think we just need a little bit more iron though, because we still need an anvil. You know, this whole section of the video is taking me a, a pretty long time. I'm really hoping I can cut it down though, so it's not super boring for you. Uh, Cause I highly doubt you guys want to watch me just like run around gathering experience, doing very tedious things. Um, but we do have to hit the caves a little bit again. I just need some more iron so we can make an anvil so then we can put fortune and mending on the pickaxe. I'm fairly certain we have enough iron now. I have 30 raw iron on me. And we have some more back at the house. And let's throw some enchantment on this axe. Hopefully we can get a good one. It's unbreaking three, which is already solid. And efficiency three. Not perfect by any means, but I will definitely take it. Silk touch is next. Okay, so then we have to make a decision if I want to do like a silk touch shovel, a silk touch axe, or maybe we can just do a silk touch pickaxe just so then we can mine up all the stone we're ever going to need. That's probably the best option. And now we have an anvil. Wow. It's so nice. I think I'm going to throw this upstairs as well so that we can do some combining after we enchant. So let's just go ahead, toss mending on this pickaxe and then toss fortune three on this pickaxe. And now our pick is looking amazing. You know, also now that we have this, I am going to collect everything in the farm because we're gonna get more of everything because of the fortune on the pickaxe. Well, not everything. We're not gonna get more wheat, but we will get more seeds. But still, I will take that. And this finally needs to be done, man. I need to organize my stuff. Yeah, it took some time, but essentially everything is organized now. We got some wood in here. I like to think of this as like the darker wood chest. We got the spruce, we got the dark oak, we got the mangrove, a lighter wood chest up here. This one's empty. A couple of these are empty just to make room for some stuff that I didn't even think of just yet. Uh, this is all like crops and food and other vegetation, stuff like that. We got dirt, we got some dripstone down here. A couple empty barrels on this side, and then this one is going to be hostile mobs and apparently flint. Why not? Flint's pretty hostile. You want the fucking bull? Come dance, never cast for energy. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your uh, This is going to be non hostile mobs. We have like tools and stuff like that in here. We have some random stuff I found while exploring. I don't know how else to categorize this chest. We have glass up in this one. Another barrel for arrows. I added just another little shelf over there. Over here, we have valuables. We have like mud and stuff like that. We have deep slate and basalts. We have some other like gray blocks. We got stone in this one. So it's pretty organized. We're definitely going to need more room pretty soon, but I think this should be good for a little while. Oh, I forgot one. This is going to be the nether chest and just other things accompanied with the nether, like these golden boots and stuff like that. So it's not absolutely perfect. We could definitely still use a storage room probably pretty soon, honestly, but we're going to live in here for as long as we can. I think it's time that we take down pretty much all of the tree farm again. Let's harvest all of these materials replan everything and let's see what we have at the end hopefully it's enough for our newest build it probably won't be though yeah so hopefully that time lapse came out correctly but i harvested all of the trees over there aside from the acacia ones i'm not going to be using those i don't even know why i planted those if i'm being honest i really don't use acacia often at all but i guess in case we ever need it, I have some. Uh, mangrove is literally just like the worst thing ever. It's such a nice looking wood. I, I wish it was easier to collect. <laughs> it's so frustrating to mine through all those trees, all the leaves, and then all the, the stupid root things. I hate it, okay? I, I just wish it didn't look as good. But I think we're just about ready to start building this barn. Let me just show you all the wood we have now. So we have quite a bit of spruce. We have a little bit of dark oak. We have like two stacks of mangrove. That took so long to get, honestly. Just these two stupid stacks. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. Um, and we have a bunch of jungle logs. That should probably last us for a good while. And then also, we're gonna use some mud. So we have just about three stacks of mud. If we combine that with the packed mud we already have, we will have over three stacks. And uh, yeah, this is all going to be packed mud. I will probably use regular mud down the line, just not for this build here. It'll probably be a similar looking pattern to the starter house. So I think like the first floor will mainly be out of packed mud, 
uh, packed mud brick and jungle planks, and then the second floor will be mangrove. But before we actually start placing down any of those blocks, let me just show you where this is going to go. And also, you might notice the grass texture looks different. I'm not using Optifine at the moment. I'm just, you know, in fabric so it can access the replay mod stuff. I'm thinking the barn will go right where I'm standing like now. We just gotta do a little bit of clearing out because I like what it looks like from over here. I feel like this area right there would be perfect for the barn. And then the way the barn is going to be designed is that like the areas for the animals to roam around will be on the right and the left sides. And I think there's more than enough room on either side of this like little plot right here to have nice areas for the sheep and the cows to run around. I actually didn't mention that, but this is going to be for cows and sheep, not really any other animal, I guess aside from our horse. I'll make a little ex extension somewhere for, for a little horse friend. But let's do a little bit of clearing out. I have four stacks of dirt on me, so we can terraform a little bit. And also I just wanna lay out how big this building is going to be with the dirt that we have. I think I'm gonna change up where this goes very slightly. So originally I was going to put the building kind of where I'm clearing out right now. But I think instead, this is going to be the edge of like one of the fences. I think we'll have the building like here-ish where I'm standing now. I'm aware that it's just like a big floating dirt blob right now, but I'm hoping this design works out. Let me try to explain what I'm going for. So I think the middle section here, like this middle rectangle, let me actually pillar up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. This middle rectangle right here is going to go up two stories, like the central rectangle that is going to come to like a pointy roof like that okay if that makes any sense hopefully you can kind of visualize this the sides then are going to be one story and the roof will slant up in the middle it's kind of difficult to describe what i'm talking about but hopefully if you've seen the thumbnail you you know you, you know what this building is going to look like but the main issue right now with it is uh yeah it's floating so let's fix that let's terraform this area a little bit to make it look <laughs> more natural it's probably not perfect but it looks way better than it did before I'm not really the best at terraforming, but I don't think it looks awful. We can always tweak it a little bit later, but at least it looks like it fits right here. All right, so we have all the materials we just gathered in this chest right here. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need more at some point, but the tree farm's right there. All right, it's not like it's far away. We could definitely easily go back and gather some more stuff. I'm assuming I'm going to need some more spruce. That's probably the first thing I'll run out of because I use spruce for so many things. Even though we do have like a stack of trapdoors here, I will probably use more, all right? Spruce trapdoors are one of the best blocks in this entire game. Um, but at least I feel like jungle, we're probably good. Mangrove, I'm sure we're fine. We're not much of this building is actually going to be mangrove. And then the dark oak, I think that's just going to be used for like the trim of the roof, like over there. So I don't really think we're going to need a ton of dark oak as well. Hopefully we can at least get a good start on this build before I have to go gather materials, but it's going to be time-lapsed. You really can't even tell when I leave to go get materials when it's time-lapsed. So let's just begin that. Outside of the barn is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Hopefully everything turns out correctly with replay mod. Sometimes it messes up. That is a creeper. I kind of want to cover that hole so I don't fall in and die to this guy. The hole is now covered. We should be good. Uh, but yeah, the outside of the barn is complete and the inside is completely empty. But I did that on purpose because I wanted to do the inside kind of with you guys. I'm not going to time lapse this one. But as you can see, we have some doorways on the side here because this is going to go out into the fenced area for the animals. So we're going to have an inside area in here where they can come inside if they want to. And also an outside area that is fenced off. And I'm just thinking on the left side here, maybe we have cows. Right side, we could probably have the sheep. The back here could just be used as some storage stuff. Maybe a way to get upstairs as well. That can be back there. And also behind the building, not accessible from the inside, we have a little stable 
which I actually quite like. I have so much random stuff on me that I have to make another chest. This always happens whenever I make anything in Minecraft. I always just throw a bunch of random stuff in here that I don't actually need. But we do have a bunch of deep slate and I have this because I think I want to make the floor of the inside here out of deep slate, like the different variants of it. Maybe we can work in some basalt as well. That could look kind of cool. And I do need to go get my stone cutter. So we're not losing out on materials. I think it looks real nice from back here. Once we get the path all connected and stuff, it's going to look real cool. That's also something I want to do before this video is over. So like, you know, the exterior of the building itself is pretty much done, but the rest of like this area is not finished. I want to, you know, decorate it a little bit more, connect the paths and maybe have another field in here as well. We still have a little bit of work to do, but this shouldn't take too, too long, hopefully. All right. So for starters, for the interior, let's definitely get some deep slate variant blocks. I'm thinking we get some bricks probably get some tiles as well maybe some polished deep slate I'll only bring a stack of that because i don't know if i'm actually going to use it but let's get two stacks of the tiles and the bricks and then we can probably work in some basalts i don't have much i only have 12 and can i put that into the stone cutter i can to get polished basalt okay i don't really want that and let's just start throwing down these deep slate blocks and see what kind of pattern we can come up with. Okay, I like this. I like this. I used all the blocks that I brought with me. So we got some of the deep slate bricks. We got some tiles. We got the polished. We also got some of that basalt in here. I think this blends together all very well. And then over here, it's going to be mostly dirt and coarse dirt. Maybe some dripstone. I have some of that as well. But I want to try to keep this all dirt. I don't want it to turn into grass. Yeah, I think this looks really good. I like the dripstone in all this. I think it actually blends in pretty well and looks solid. Now that the floor is all in... Uh, we should start working on like the ceiling on the inside and a bit more of like the supports and stuff like that that we're gonna have stretching across and I think we're gonna make this out of dark oak now typically I do spruce for stuff like this but I like the idea of having dark oak on the inside because I feel like it kind of gives off the effect that this whole building was once dark oak like for the supports and stuff and then for the outside it just kind of like faded away a little bit because it's been exposed to the sun the inside is much better kept most likely right so it would still be the dark oak on the inside i don't know if that makes sense i hope it does but that's kind of the the idea i'm going with here and uh yeah i definitely need some more dark oak but here's the idea we're gonna have dark oak supports like all over here we're gonna have some beams going across it's gonna look nice i think when everything is in place and then in the middle here we can have like fence gates and some fences just so we can get in and the animals obviously uh, cannot get out. I also did not mention this, but that dark oak is all eventually going to be stripped. I just wanted to throw it all down for now. I connected all the beams together here on the inside and we also like kind of brought over some trap doors and some stairs and stuff like that to make it look a little bit more supported. I like what this looks like. I think this is a, a solid start for the interior here. And then the ceiling design for the inside is just going to be some spruce slabs and some trap doors. I think that looks okay. We can probably throw some lanterns and stuff around this area once we get some more. I still don't have like any lanterns. I used all the iron I had to make like 11 lanterns, which I was able to put around like the windows of this building. But we still need some more for the inside. I really need to do some more mining like desperately. But the interior is definitely coming along. We have a staircase now as well to the second floor. I missed a piece of mangrove, but I will fix that <laughs> in a little while. But now we have the second floor. Which, honestly, I don't know what to throw up here just yet. I almost just put another floor on this building just to make it look cool. The bottom floor is probably, like, the only thing we're going to use. And also, some of this is turning into grass. I feel like it was because of the dirt block that I put right here. I'm assuming that it can connect, like, diagonally. So, let's take that one away and hopefully it stays all dirt and does not turn into grass. I also just threw in a very basic roof on the animal pen sides. We just have a spruce roof there. It doesn't have to be anything special. And now let's continue decorating with this back room over here. We are going to bring up a dark oak beam to the second floor here. I'm gonna strip that all down, of course. Looks like it's supporting the stairs a little bit better. I always like that. And then now we can actually throw in some like shelves back here. And on these shelves, we can start throwing down some barrels. I have a couple chests as well I wanna throw down. I just really like what single chests look like next to barrels. I don't know why, but they just look really nice in my opinion. I don't know if it's because like the size is different or what it is, but it just looks a lot better than just having a bunch of barrels, I think. We are getting very close to finishing the interior of this build. I want to throw down another like potted plant. Those always look good. Gonna actually break into my hay bale stack. We have a bunch of hay bales. This shouldn't really affect me too much. We also got to make sure we put the hay bales in ways where the animals cannot escape. That looks good to me. Adds a little pop of color on the inside here. 
And the last little room we have to decorate is this one right here. That looks good to me then. Nothing too crazy, but it's enough, I think. And I feel like this is going to be the actual storage we use for this building. Just because then I can run in, grab some shears, grab some wheat or whatever, just right off the rip, and then do what I need to do with these animals. So now let's just map out how big of a space we're gonna give these animals here on the outside. I feel like that's a good amount of space out here, where all these, like, logs are. We're gonna connect fences between them. All right, yeah, I think this definitely works. This is a lot of area. I think the fence looks all right. We have some spruce and we also have some dark oak. I wanna try to go for that effect where it looks like some of the fence is fading. Maybe it's a little bit older. I think this actually looks pretty good. One more final touch I wanna add to that fence. I just wanna throw trap doors on top of all of these little like wooden pieces here. And I'm fairly certain the animals cannot escape from here. Actually, they can escape right there. Now we're good, okay. I, I think we're good, I don't think they can escape from in here. Let's do the same exact thing here to the other side. Yo, that guy is absolutely lost. I have no idea where he's going, but anyway. Uh, this pen is now complete. It's pretty much the same as the one over there, just a different shape. Now the last step for this build before we actually get the animals in is to like connect up the pathway, make it look all nice. And that also might mean we add a new farm. I'm thinking we could probably have a farm where this big like cavern is because I did say I wanted to fill this cavern and we're going to do that right now. It'll also make transporting all the animals a lot easier. I have one diamond spare, so let's go make that into a shovel. And part of me really wants to enchant it before I start mining all of this dirt. That would be so useful. We'd get so much more dirt that way. Now the thing is with enchanting right now, uh, my next guaranteed enchantment is silk touch and i want that on a shovel eventually but i would much rather have that on a pickaxe first and uh, as you just saw we used our last diamond to craft this diamond shovel so i think we should do some mining and i'm probably not going to show most of this because it's just going to be strip mining but i'm going to head down there try to get some more diamonds we have fortune three now which is really nice that should also give us some experience, so this isn't actually that bad of an idea right now. It actually won't give us any experience right away since we have mending on this pickaxe now. But I still do think it is worth our time to go and mine some stuff. Oh my god, we found diamonds and is it really only going to be one? No way you're doing this to me, Minecraft. I have been looking for so long, literally like 45 minutes of just straight mining, and you're gonna give me one diamond. And it actually only gave me one diamond from Fortune as well. <gasps> and finally more diamonds, but it looks like one again? Okay, it's not one diamond, thank you. There's also a cave right here. Oh, and an ancient city over there. All right, we might do something real dumb in a second. But let me just get these diamonds. We have four now. That's actually all we needed. I only needed enough to make another pickaxe. We are pretty safe in this area back this way. Okay. So, I want to see if I can just, like, steal a chest or two. Because, yeah, this is certainly an ancient city. That's cool. Um, if I could just, like, yeet one chest... That would be pretty sick. Because you can get some pretty good stuff out of these ancient cities. I think we're actually okay to build a little bit right here. I think it's just sensors in this area. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, it's just one again. Dude, my diamond luck in this world has been wildly insane. Anyway though, back to the search. Let me see if I can find just one chest. Those are the guys I'm scared of. Those are the shriekers if I'm not mistaken. Those are the guys that are going to alert the warden that I'm here. Those are the snitches. No one likes those guys. I'm just thinking that if I can open up a chest and only alert the shriekers like once, we'll be okay. I don't even know where the chests spawn in here. I'm kind of just wandering around like an idiot. And there are some more diamonds over there. Okay, well, let's go get those. All right, I think I'm good to collect these. It's probably just one again. It absolutely is. Nice, that's what we wanted. I have seen my first chest. Let's see if we can make it over there. I can climb that without triggering anything, so that's good. Let's keep going. And we're at a chest. Can I open this? Okay, I can open it and nothing happened. But sadly, we didn't really get too much out of this. So we have another chest. Let's see if I do this. If we can then open it. We can open it. And we got Swift Sneak 3. Also, Unbreaking 3 leggings. Might as well use those. We got Cat. We got a disc fragment. A couple more disc fragments. Some bones. Okay. Okay. That Swift Sneak 3 book is going to be amazing once we get some diamond leggings. There are still those diamonds over here that I do want to get. 
I'm just gonna have to sneak my way all the way over here. <laughs> because I don't know what's creeping around the corners here. I feel like I would be safe to get up and start walking. Actually, I probably wouldn't have. There's a shrieker right there. So, we're just gonna stay crouched, like, forever. There's two sets of diamonds over here, which is actually nice. I hope I'm able to mine this without sending anything off. Let's try. Okay, we're good. We're good. We mined one of them. And we mined the other one. Okay, we're good. So, let's just go find one more chest, and I'm gonna dip. I can also certainly be missing a lot of diamonds right now, so if you see any, uh, I'm sorry that I missed them. Okay, we made it up to this chest. And I feel like since I just built all the way up here, I can probably just open this one. Got Prot 4 Diamond Leggings with Curse of Vanishing, but that's not that bad. And I'm breaking 3 Efficiency 5 Diamond Hoe. Okay, that's why I did this, by the way. <laughs> this is precisely why I came here. A ridiculous pair of iron leggings. I'm gonna take those as well. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. Swift Sneak 2, we don't need... Looting 1 isn't that great. I'm gonna leave that. So I think that's good. I'm gonna hop on out of here. We are now out of the mines, and we're back in the area. Feels good to be back here. Don't have to crouch everywhere I go. I'm gonna head over to the village, though, and trade some sticks to get some experience. I really don't feel like going to the nether right now. We have now reached level 30. So let's go enchant a pickaxe with silk touch. I really hope this is more than just silk touch. It's silk touch unbreaking, not too bad. Efficiency on that and then obviously mending would make that very, very good, but I'll still take the silk touch and the unbreaking. We are exactly level 30 again. So let's go enchant this shovel and we can finally start just digging dirt. We, we just did all this so I can dig dirt more efficiently. So let's go enchant this shovel. It is only efficiency three, but I will take it for now. Efficiency three on breaking three. At least it's on breaking. All right, now that we have this, we can go collect a whole bunch of dirt a lot faster. We have essentially an entire inventory here of dirt, so that should be enough. If this isn't enough, I'm going to be very upset. We also like obliterated a lot of this biome here. And uh, I found the best way to do this, actually. So I can instamine dirt with this shovel, but I can't instamine grass. So what I was doing was trying to find, like, a tunnel that was too high in dirt. And that's kind of what this all is. And it went by a lot faster. And next up, we just gotta fill this entire thing in and try to make it look natural. I already kind of started up here. But we're gonna try to follow the same kind of idea all the way down. And hopefully it just doesn't look like a flat piece of land. I think this works pretty well. I think it looks fairly natural right here. We can easily have this path kind of come down this way now. And it can lead right into the barn without any, you know, risk of falling in or anything like that. And we could probably throw another field right here. We still kind of have to fill in this area here. So let me actually just go do that before we are completely done with this whole section. This is all flattened out over here now. It actually doesn't even look that bad with it all being flat, but we can definitely throw some kind of building here eventually. I do think it's finally time though to let the cows in. It's day 100 and they have still not figured out that I am not one of them. Also, it's day 100. I didn't even realize that. That's cool. All right, we got the big happy family of cows in there. I think everything is good. The animals are all in their cages, all in their little pens. We have way more cows than we have sheep, but that's fine. And now last stop in this video is to decorate the path leading up to the house, and I think we're going to plant another field. We're just gonna do the same design. Probably won't show too much of that, just because you've already kind of seen me build one of these before, but let's go work on that. But actually, before we do that, I almost forgot about the horse. We gotta bring the horse into his new home. There we go. Horse, he looks a lot happier. Threw some hay bales in the back there for him. He's vibing. Now it is time to work on the path. The shaders are now on, so that means this build is finalized. Now, there's some stuff I still want to do to this area down the line once I get access to more materials. Like, I want to bone meal most of the outside here, but I just don't have any bones. I want to add some more flowers around, like I want to add some of the two tall flowers. Um, but also, I need bone meal to get a whole bunch of those. Once again, don't have bone meal. So... We will continue to work on this area throughout the series, but I think I did a pretty good job based on what we have now. So, you walk outside, it's looking gorgeous. You can come over here, and this path connects all the way down to the barn. We have a completely new field, and this is what I want the two tall flowers for. I want those flowers to be all throughout this field, because I don't know, I, I like what that, that purple looks like with the fully grown wheat and stuff like that. I think it looks pretty cool. I want to add some flowers to this field over there as well. But I did add a couple hay bales. Those always look nice in, in fields, even though this isn't a wheat field anymore. This is just potatoes and a little bit of carrots all the way at the bottom. 
Um, I still added some of them. I still think it looks nice. But this path now comes all the way down here. We got some nice mud brick slabs to kind of help me go up and down this place. Then we got some more like stone broken into the path. A couple uh, pieces of coarse dirt along the way. Some lanterns. I used the final bit of my lanterns. Actually, I have three left. Let's go make use of these really fast before we continue. I want to put one there. Then I'm just going to throw two over here. All right, it looks amazing. Cool. Let's go back this way now. I meant to put a fence gate there too. I keep re remembering things that I that I forgot. Doesn't matter though. Uh, we have access to this farm over here with the fence gate. I think it's a little bit smaller than the other one. This is going to be all wheat. That one, like I said before, mainly potatoes. A little bit of carrots. We should probably make a carrot field once we actually get enough carrots to fill a field. I have a couple of barrels here now where I can actually just go ahead and store all the stuff I'm going to need for you know these these different fields. But you continue walking down here, and this is where I want the bone meal for as well. Like, this looks so bare. There's just nothing going on on either side, and I think bone meal just makes a huge difference. But we at least have a path now all the way down to the barn, and then the lower part of the barn is completely finished. Guess I shouldn't say completely, because I still want to add lanterns once we get some more. The upstairs, there's nothing here yet. I don't know what to put up here. I guess let me know some suggestions in the comments. If you guys can think of what to put up here, but for now it is empty. I had the idea to maybe put like a table up here. We can have like a dinner table, but that feels a little mean. Right above where we kill the animals, we have the dinner table. That's a little insensitive, I think. Um, but that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys like the barn. I think it looks pretty nice. It's a different style of barn to what I normally make. But I think it turned out quite well. We desperately need some more lighting around this area. But just looking back here, this looks pretty nice. With all the lanterns now in place. But once I get a butt ton more iron, we can make infinite lanterns. And we can make this area look a lot more lively. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.